Hey, it's Unifarm. So I bought the set of 24 watercolors by Schminke and I thought I'd share my first impression with you. This is how it's packaged. The set comes with an extra sheet of paper on which you can test your new colors. First I will unpack all my pens and then I fill in this chart. I use two containers of water. One with clean water in it and the other one for cleaning my brushes. So basically with dirt water later. Then I used to have a tissue paper for watercolors, but I switched to a burp cloth that my child doesn't need anymore. So I can wash it afterwards and don't have that much waste. There is an instruction that helps you to fill in this chart. So I use much color and less water for the upper left side. Then I cleaned my brush and just filled in the upper part with no color at all. So I have a gradient and can see how the color looks like with much and less added water. You can see all the colors filled in this chart. Now I quickly prepare my painting and then we can start and test these colors. I added some masking fluid on it. This was the first time I used masking fluid and I didn't let it dry. Should be obvious, but not to me. So you may ask, why the heck are these watercolors so freaking expensive? The whole production time might be a reason. To get watercolors as pigmented as possible, Schminke fills the color in the pan and let it dry for 4 weeks and repeats this process 3 more times. So one pan is produced in 4 months. The water evaporates during the dry time and a high pigmented watercolor is left in the pan. So Schminke uses the same color for the pans as for the tubes. This is great because you can refill the pans by yourself. Now let's talk about my first impression. I decided to draw a girl with galaxy hair because I thought this galaxy effect might be best for testing watercolors. And it also shows the high pigmentation of the colors. And it wasn't intended at all, but the drawing looks so much Ginny inspired. This showed me how much I am influenced by her art. I just wanted to paint some galaxy hair and ended up with this picture which shows so many aspects of her style. So I link her channel in the video description, she has some amazing art on it. First of all, the colors are so vibrant. I immediately fell in love with this blue tone. The only exception is the purple tone in my opinion. I personally don't think that this is that high pigmented as the other colors. I also used purple tones by other brands e.g. by Kuretake and their purple was a bit more pigmented in my opinion. However, I fell in love with these watercolors. Normally I'm too impatient for watercolors but for this piece I could wait and let the piece dry multiple times to build up my layers. By doing so the colors getting even more vibrant in the finished piece. There's also a mixing palette included when you open the set, so the whole design of the package is very handy. My hand is not that trained when I'm using a paintbrush, so I added some fine details with my colored pencils later in this painting. Generally I'm very happy that I can refill the pens later by myself, so that I don't run out of my favorite colors and I have to buy a whole new set for getting my favorite colors again. So I think Schminke offers some great colors in the set. This is just personal preference but I wish they've added a greenish blue tone instead of three yellow tones. So I'm curious about the durability of these colors. One of the other reasons for higher prices for art supplies might be that the colors don't fade that fast as the ones by cheaper brands do. So we will see in future what happens with this piece. So all in all, everybody needs to decide on his or her own if he or she wants to invest in expensive art supplies. I do like these colors, but I'm going to combine them in the future with cheaper ones. In this way the colors aren't used up that quickly. So this was the first impression of these watercolors. In two weeks I try to upload a comparison between cheap and expensive watercolors, so don't miss that.
next week there will be the first video of the Art Addicts Alliance collaboration. So don't miss that. And maybe there will be another Uni Paint Me on Tuesday. If you like the video, please let me know and give it a thumbs up. And if you like to see more weekly art videos on my channel, then hit the subscribe button. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I see you next week. Bye bye.